ฮะเคียวแล้วสวัสดีสวัสดีครับเป็นไงบ้างกินข้าวแล้วใช่ไหมอืมอ๋อใช่ครับอ่าโอเคกันมาต่อเลยแล้วกันนะครับ All right so for today's class we are covering the four questions here so we can see for the first two questions first right so here is all about like a narrative or storytelling right so what you need to do is that look at for the first question first um what is your all time favorite movie it means that um the movie that is a dictate or even um you know you really like About it, right? So what you need to say is that try to explain by um you know giving an explanation, reason why, or storytelling to the reader, uh huh, and convince them to watch such a film or favorite film that you are mentioned. For example, like um you can categorize some kind of movie first. For example, like if you choose a fantasy movie, so you have to develop um storytelling of the fantasy movie, action movie, or even um you know. Yeah, love, long life, whatever movie here, right? So I'm going to give you for five minutes to prepare for this, and if you're ready, just talk, talk, talk here. Mm -hmm. Okay.
um, I think that um, my all time favorite movie is Star Wars. Uh -huh. um, this movie is about <coughs> a fantasy movie about about the um, space and alien. Yeah, so and the reason that I like this film is because I like the author's imagination about space that um <coughs> that um in 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 at um in far away from our world there are a lot of um a lot of living creatures out there and <coughs> and like us they want to be <coughs> they they want to be superior than more superior than other so they want to show their superiority mm -hmm. yeah I, I really like the idea of um, of this film mm -hmm. and also um I think that this film also show that um <coughs> this film also also show that um oh, oh this stream also show that you even people with um even people with um with a lot of something like um negative emotion mm -hmm. can can be turned turn to be a good person if mm -hmm. if they get that um some kind of um relationship yeah so it means that it may, may convince other people to shift from a bad, um, sorry, negative thought into a positive one and change or transform their behavior in the right direction. Am I correct? Things like that, right? Yes. Right. Um. So to me, yeah, I I would like to share yeah. for my favorite or you know like old time favorite. Uh, I think that everyone know about about Titanic, right? So it's it's all about like a romantic oh, yes. movies, right? Um. Basically, it's a very you know, uh, attractive or even addicted to a lot of people to understand the way that they portray in the movie here. So I think that um, the best line or storyline for the Titanic is that um, it's all about romance um, disaster. It means that you, ca you, you can find some um, solution or even um, the, th the, the story has, um, you know, plot into the way that the people uh, interact in the past time, right? And... Yeah, it was directed by um James Cameron, right? So uh, he is one of the you know talented director that um even he feel that emotion of each character have to be uh, performed well on that uh, scene, right? For example, like they can see even um you know eye dilation from uh, people when when you are expressing some kind of grief or even um um sorrowness um from um the way that you disappoint from something here so it's very very delicate and very um you know emotional i can say so to me um i think the thing is kind of like um very uh, long lasting just because i think that it being it has been you know come up with um, those um, previous time until the, um, the present time and also many many researchers um, has been conducted that that's why the Titanic um, I mean like uh, the um, Titanic is kind of like a chip right and then um, so some kind of things that um, um, people or even engineers try to seek out for, for the solution or even plot storyline in a different way so the baseline of the Titanic here is this kind of very uh, important to you know to to be a baseline for other story too and I think that the story plot is as kind of like uh, you cannot even predict or even um, you know know what is the ending point or climax um, climax one for this scene right so it's just kind of like very memorable and I think it is interesting too yeah so that's all about like uh, my old time for it movie here yep mm. So, so I move up. <laughs> All right. So, um, so for a second question, for a second question, um, so you can see, um, the question asks you to elaborate, right? So, for, so for today is that um, there are more and more reality shows on television. For example, like uh, some kind of interview might be active, right? Or even um, you know, live things like that. 
And also, do these shows make good television? Why or why not? And then have to explain the answer using specific reason and example. Um, I would suggest that you can talk about reality show, right? Reality show means that maybe re reality program, TV program too, for example, like, um, I'm not sure what can be taken in Thailand. Let's say like uh, some people may um, living together in one house, things like that, one home, right? And then um, they're going to have like, um, you know, video monitoring all the time, what behavior they should do. So things like that. So what do you think about pros and cons? Try to discuss about benefit or even negative thing that happened to the TV show or reality shows here, right? Okay, I'm going to leave for five minutes and you can turn on if you're ready. Okay.
Um, in my opinion, mm -hmm. um, I I think that um the the reality shows or television at this day mm -hmm. are, are not are not make are not doing good tele are not doing good to the people who mm. watch it, especially mm -hmm. children. Um, the reason is because um most of reality shows nowadays mm -hmm. um tend to be prepared prepared um before the scene. For example, mm -hmm. like um um the shows that make people um from different area to mm -hmm. live together for for several times. Yeah. Um this this um shows tend tend to make the um tend tend to make the actor or actress mm -hmm. to to know that whether they should do something or not. Yeah and um... <clears throat> And the actor and actress tend to talk before talk about how they will perform mm. in the scene before the scene start. So, mm. <clears throat> in other words, this isn't a true reality show, but it is just a um, fake reality show uh -huh. because um okay. be because everyone know about it yeah. and be mm -hmm. and it's already prepared. Right. Yeah, and this make it a bad, bad television. A bad, a bad. This make it a bad, bad choice for television channel, because the children who watch it will simply think that um that the show is real, and they they will have a long idea that um that if they do something as the same to the mm. show, mm -hmm. they will get some um some. We saw that is similar to the show, yeah, which mm -hmm. fully to misunderstanding. So it might be contradict to those actions mm -hmm. when it comes to reality. Is that right? That right. All right. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing okay. the the idea of drawback or even mis benefit of doing so. Right. So, um, I think this is very controversial issues when it comes to talk about pros and cons of TV reality shows in the television, right? So I'm going to share a bit of kind of like, um, you know, a benefit. Why do people or even um, directors, TV directors can choose to, you know, select the show or reality show? I think it's all about like, uh, just because right now we can see lots of people may find that something fresh or even something new or different from um, what they used to see. So reality shows might be an option just because it take uh, it takes um, you know a range of entertainment or even um, shocking um, unexpected situation into the funny way or even dramatic um, things like that. So lots of um, you know combination of emotion. That it uh, that can show from the um, you know reality show, right? So I think that it might be a profit for those investor in order to make sure that um, you know the the um, let's say like uh, the theater or even the TV industry can be gained for more profitable too. And I think it's just kind of easy for nowadays, just because we live in online, right? Online, um, you know, social media things like that. So it might be really easy for those. Um, you know, people who can, you know, easily see this kind of episode from the reality show, from the television. So it's kind of like uh, very important to make sure that they can gain popularity uh, during this time. But anyway, um, all in all, we have to see that uh, what can be outweighed between uh, pros and cons too, right? In terms of ethical that you mentioned, it's kind of like it's all about well prepare for this kind of show so it means that it's not that really real reality shows all right just because they can have like a uh, proper preparation or even things like they can know or try to collaborate before um you know acting or even performing on the tv show so all in law it might cause uh, some kind of acting or reflection from others that might be inappropriate behavior too so some kind of thing that we have that, um, need to take into consideration too but i think it, it it is still popular during this time and i think it might be some way of good television to um show up for a 
and the reality shows too. Yep, this is from my perspective, right? Good. <laughs> Move careful. อันนี้จะเป็น content เปลี่ยนแล้วนะ All right. Um, so for this slide, um, I think we shift to the you know alternative information here. The first question asks you to reconsider about is, uh, um, sorry, an I for an I means that. Ta 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 fan ta fan. I I understand like that. is that. All right. Okay. An I for an I means that if you did something wrong, so you will get something wrong. If you did something good, and you will get something good in return. Right. A good basis for determining an appropriate punishment. If you kill that one, you should you should be killed by something like that. Whatever here. And um, why or why not? So you need to use specific reasons, an example to explain your position here. Um, I think it's just a little bit detailed and a little bit challenging, <laughs> just because I I I have no experiences to to do this kind of thing too, right? Um, so I would suggest that you can talk about maybe how to psychological issue too. For example, like it's to those people just um get angry or even disappointed from something and they want to do something um uh, to the other people. True. Uh, let let's say like getting in return things like that, or even in terms of um regulation or punishment that those people who kill someone else they need to be killed too. This is this is um what makes we um you know have for more clarification or even reason why to do so, right? And okay, I'm going to let you prepare a bit just because it's a little bit challenging here, right? Ready? Turn on the microphone. Okay.
um, for me, I think that um, and I for an I type of punishment. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think in my opinion, I think it is a good message for punishment. Ideally, because it can make the um, make the people who do bad thing get the get the um, test of their own medicine that um, what what they do will cause what will cause other people pain yeah um... however in reality I, I don't think it i don't think it can adapt to a society nowadays uh -huh. because of many reasons mm. first of all um an eye for an eye punishment is considered as brutal and barbaric yeah mm -hmm. which which is um which isn't like how um how modern society should be yeah and it also may support the violence on the children who think that um violence on other people is good yeah mm -hmm. and secondly um auto and i for an i punishment can teach can teach the lesson to the criminal but um to do that, in order to do that they need to spend a lot of resource in in order to um, accomplish this um the reason is that um an i for an i punishment usually need to require a lot of medical um, medical resource in order to 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 make the um, victim and criminal not dead from the um, to make the criminal not that die from the punishment if um for example like um if the punishment to mm -hmm. the criminal is to chop off their arm and mm -hmm. not not let them dead um in this case they need to to use um quite a lot of medical resources in order to um to do something right mm -hmm. yes to to kill them or to death yeah, so it means and... that it may cause a problem for medical resource or expenses that can be happen or the consequences of uh, helping them alive things like that right yes yes um nice. something like that and it it may cause um other type of resource too yeah I and see. lastly lastly um auto and i often i punishment can make the victim feel comfortable that um that the criminal get some some ex some bad experience uh -huh. however um it just only lead to to the victim um it's, it's just make make victim feel good for a while and and um and it it is and because of the other reason um it it make um it it's a pain out of a lot of resort in them yeah right. and mm. um nowadays we we can just use um the same standard of law for example like um to make them go to the jail for a while or mm. or um if they do a serious crime crime mm. just um just execute them yeah it oh, spend see. less resource than an eye for an eye punishment and the result are the same if we don't account for the victim feeling which which i think that um i i think that doing an eye for an eye punishment only give relief to victim feeling for a while uh, and right, right. then they will feel the same <laughs> Yes. I see, right? Because it cannot even it cannot be compensate or even substitute to those. It's kind of okay. Let's say like uh, you just mentioned that it might um you know compensate for the first feeling or the process of um you know angry or even like uh, uh yes. things that they want to get it in return, right? But for a long term consequences, it may cause lots of um penalty, which is not really long lasting i mean like it's not suitable for those wrong duo to do so right i see yes, i think doing this will will um auto it may make victim feel good at first mm. but i think that um in the end they will still suffer the same 
Yeah. I see. I understand your point here. Just because it's, it's all about like, um, yeah, so we have to um, follow the rules or even in the law regulation, the lawsuit regulation, or even um, the, you know, using justification in the, in this modern day. So I don't think that I know uh, an eye for an eye might be practically practiced, right? I mean, like it pr practically used in this um, modern day just because we have to, uh, you know, determine right determine what um the causes of action or even um you know like uh, the way that um, 